Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Peter Bilbo with Bilbo's Marine, and today we're gonna show you how to sand and fill some minor imperfections on a hull of a Boston Whaler. And uh, I'm gonna have my lead team guy, Nixon, take you through it. So, so far we put a high build primer on the boat and uh, filled some stuff already, but um, we're just gonna take you through the process on how to sand the high build primer and fill any you know scratches or imperfections in the hull. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's show them how to do it. All right, guys, so right now we're at the stage um, of filling minor imperfections in the high build primer. Um, we sanded down the boat, we prepped the boat, um, we put four coats of high build primer on it, and now we're just going around filling any imperfections with the icing. What we're looking for is pinholes, um, deeper scratches, any chips that are missing out of the um, hull as of now. So we're gonna go ahead, start mixing up our icing and filling some holes. So right now we're using a product called Icing. Um, it's one of the final stages in filling. It fills minor pinholes, imperfections, scratches. You mix it with a little bit of uh, cream hardener. Uh, right now we're using the blue. So you just mix it in until you have a uniform color. And you only have about five minutes of working time. So you kind of want to be quick with it. Uh, you want to make sure you, know, you already have a plan of attack um, when you're mixing. Uh, make sure you know where all the scratches are on the boat. You can usually mark them with a piece of tape, or if they're already sanded, you'll be able to see them easier. Alrighty guys, so on this side of the hull, we have the Bowden primer high build. We also have a bunch of imperfections filled with icing, and the black stuff on here is our guide coat. This allow us to sand down the boat, and we can find any high and low spots with the high build primer, and also the guide coat that's left behind will show low spots. This is our block that we use to keep a uniform sand. You always wanna use something flat when you're sanding on a flat surface, because if you use your hand or something soft, it's gonna put grooves in the surface and not allow it to stay flat. So we're gonna start blocking the boat. We have 400 grit sandpaper here, and we're gonna start with like a cross pattern. We're gonna go in one direction down the boat, and then we're gonna switch back and go the opposite way. Whenever sanding, you wanna go in a cross pattern. You never wanna go 10 different directions. You always want to keep it uniform uh, with a cross pattern. And make sure when you're, when you're sanding, you're putting even pressure on the block. When you're sanding, you always want to keep the surface blown off and clean. And then when you go back and look at it, if you see any guide coat that's left behind, which is the black powder on there, um, that means you have some low spots. You want to go ahead and take that icing, come back and skim over it again, and then take your block when it's cured and go ahead and block that surface. All right, guys, so once you get a smooth surface, um, you went around the whole boat, check for high and low spots, um, look for any more chips, um, pinholes, scratches. You get those all filled. You want to be very thorough on your last final wipe down and walk around. You know, we really want to look for pinholes, little, little tiny imperfections, because if those aren't corrected, you're going to see them when you go to paint the boat. So this final stage is a very thorough stage. Make sure there's no imperfections. Because uh, like I said, when you go to paint the boat, you're going to see every little thing, especially pinholes, um, paint won't fill that. Any cracks, um, paint won't fill. So make sure when you're, when you're done with this stage, everything's perfect and then you're ready for paint. All right guys, so that's the process prepping for paint. If you guys have any comments, leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.